go. What? Welcome, everyone. Happy, what's today? Happy Sunday afternoon. Look, if you think I'm in Spain, it is so nice and warm here. In Belgium, I made the hour and a half drive this morning to come to a super loft, super results, crushing it. Even one loft racing, he takes a guy, he gives him a little, little magic tip. Boom, hits the top 10. He's never done that before. Where are we though? Do you know where we are? I know where we are. And I'm going to introduce a superstar to you guys. Reminder, I always say this show works best when you participate. What does that mean, participate? Ask the questions. Don't be shy. Don't just sit there and watch and hope for me to ask the questions because I've been here enough times. I've, I've asked all the questions. I still sometimes repeat myself and ask the same question, but that's okay. The main thing is, is you participate. This man has fantastic pigeons. It's a home run every time with this guy. The quality today that we selected is second to none. He was pulling them out and I was saying, man, this is unbelievable. What can I say? He's the one. He's the only. Let's turn it over. Let me reverse my screen, folks. There we go. There he is. The Van Robuys man himself, Guy Van Den Aura. Is Good that correct? Afternoon. Yes, Ryan. You <laughs> pronounced very well. <laughs> I'm getting better at it. People, yes. are, people are always on my ass to pronounce it right, but it is Guy. It's not Goo. It's not, well, it could be Guy if you're in America, but it's Guy. Guy's the man. Hey, we are on Facebook. We are on YouTube. Stan Berdinsky says hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. What a, what a nice day today, eh? Yeah, it's uh, Indian summer. Yeah. In See, you, you say the same thing as we do, Indian yeah. summer. Yeah, it really is. Beautiful. Already some weeks now, so... Uh, we could go swimming here by yeah. the end of this show. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning. Again, in North America, it is morning. Good morning, says Brian Mansker. Good morning from Portugal. Good pigeons in Portugal, eh? Good yeah. pigeon racing. Yeah. What do you think about that? I know when I've imported pigeons... Uh, Guy, from Portugal, I get very few, but every time I take them out of the baskets, they're fantastic, nice pigeons. The good quality. Yeah, look, they they had also the best from Europe, from from uh, Belgium and Holland, due that there are many uh, one loft races in their country, so they can easily get the pigeons there, and sometimes cheap. So for fanciers, it's a it's a good opportunity. And the Portuguese fanciers, they like them, so they buy them locally and uh, select them and uh, raise them. And they have also uh, a lot of pigeon fanciers in Portugal, so it's a hard selection. Yeah, I think very good competition. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know, it was funny. I said I'd love to, to do some work with somebody from Portugal, like, mm -hmm. you know, find some good breeders. But they say it's the pedigrees. They don't keep... Oh, but they are. But look, the Portuguese fanciers, they're more like a hobby. Uh, they don't race with young birds. They only race with old birds. Right. And they are also lim limited in uh, numbers in their team. So that's also an advantage. So, uh, so they're limited. They don't fly young birds at all. Do they no, train them out? They train them, yeah. And that's it. And then they start. But they race during the winter time. And we race during the summertime. But in the summertime, it's uh, too hot in uh, Portugal. Ah. But there are many good, fan, uh, good fanciers over there. Yeah. yeah. The, the pigeons, I, I, all the pigeons that I've imported, I don't know who they're from. But yeah. man, I say, shit, these are, they're put together real nice. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been, maybe you know someone, maybe, hey, you never know. If you're from Portugal and you can get the results that we're looking for here at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, let me know. Unfortunately, not in Hamilton, Canada. It is five degrees this morning. Oh my God. Winter already. Winter already. <laughs> Last week, mm -hmm. it was this temperature. Yeah. In one day, she flipped flip yeah. right over. Uh, again, guys, your comments are key. If you have questions for this gentleman here, now is the time to put them in. Uh, yes, we selected nine super pigeons. Nine super pigeons. When he brought these pigeons out to me, and I might show you one a little bit later on, he almost, it was like a test. He did. It's like the first one was a 10, then the second one was a 10, then the third one was, it was like a, it was a serious 
it was I couldn't believe the quality and yeah. and out of the, the the key pigeons and you know we, we were talking about the the gentleman from from Germany yeah my colleague your colleague Korean. yeah and I met him at uh, where were we where did, where did we go that night we went out for dinner everyone yeah with uh, Fugari with, no it wasn't Fugari uh, the spring show in Holland yeah, yeah Houghton. Yeah, because yeah, we had stable yeah. Saki. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went out, yeah. and he was he was the big guy. Yes. Shit, he makes every man look small. Yeah, he's two meters, I think. So. <laughs> <laughs> he's just two meters, but he's the not German a giant. he's not a fat guy. No, he's, no, no, he's no, like, no. he's uh, if we took him to America, he would be a professional football player. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, it's an interesting thing, and this is the power of this man's pigeons, geese pigeons. Listen to this story. Can we tell the story? Yeah, of course. Because it's. It's a common problem that 95% of everyone watching has. Tell me the story. So uh, Florian, uh, he was talking to me and uh, about racing in Germany. Uh, they are limited. Uh, there's a very short uh, young bird season. Uh, they live far away from each other. Uh, they have only a few races. And uh, the German guys, due to all that, they like to participate to one loft races. So he's uh, trying and, and winning uh, good results on one loft races. Uh, but of course, they all want to be in the top 10. So we were uh, talking about pigeons and uh, I said to him, yeah. And, and, and he, just to interrupt you for a second. Mm -hmm. And he was saying he's getting good results yeah. up until the final. Yeah. And then at the final, he seems to... Yeah, but it's... it's not, not as... Yeah, but it's, it's difficult if you send, look, one loft racing, um, it's taking a lot of money to, to participate. And, and, and of course you need to have some luck if you send small teams. So um, he asked me, do you participate? And I said to him, yeah, look, I'm only limited in, in numbers. And I need for the Belgian program, I need all my youngsters during the racing uh, season. So um, the last 10 years I didn't participate but I had really fantastic results in, in all uh, the big races like Belgium Masters and uh, one million dollar race in uh, South Africa and also a race in Canada and uh, in China. So I know that the pigeons, they do very well and the people who buy pigeons from me, uh, like uh, a few fanciers, uh, they send me good results like Jakob Portfleet, he, um, he sold 100% uh, pigeon uh, to uh, another fancier and he won uh, a big race in Poland and uh, last year in Pattaya uh, in the top 30 there were two pigeons who were 50% from my loft so direct ones and I told him yeah look what we're gonna do you're my colleague you're my friend I will give you for my best pigeon so special black first national ace pigeon and a super breeder I will give you a son when she was paired up with Mr. Chatrio, so a proven pair. Um, from that pair, a uh, youngster gave her already the second best pigeon in Holland with young birds. So I will loan you the pigeon for right. a round and you breed with your own pigeons, youngsters, and send them to a one loft race. And then we will see what happens. So last week, um, I was at the race in, uh, Golden Algarve in Portugal. Mm -hmm. Many people visit the race and no pigeons arrived the first day, but he sent me a good message that uh, he won uh, the seventh prize in Moledo, uh, 530 kilometers, and it was the youngster from the Son of Special Black. So he was very uh, happy to have now a top 10 uh, winner in a uh, one loft race. So, uh, and, and that's, that's breeding just one pair of babies, 50% your pigeon. Yes. This is what we're talking about. These are impact pigeons. Now, uh, a couple questions have come in and I'm gonna fire them in. Guys, take your time. Uh, Stan says, what are your key breeders? And we're gonna go and look at some birds here today, but I, what's, what's your key breeders, your baseline of pigeons, what is it? So the old line from uh, Josef Govarts, mm -hmm. uh, the Super 481, uh, Josef Govart, his nickname was the Kaasboer. Um, he was also the breeder from the famous pigeon from Gaston van der Wauer. Mm -hmm. And uh, on his total clearance auction, 
I buy the three most important pigeons and they gave me all the success. They gave me the last step to be at the top level, uh, to win uh, national top positions and to win uh, first national ace pigeon and to win first provincial ace pigeon and to real dominate federation results with young birds and old birds. Um, combined with the best pigeons from Bart Herings, from Daughter Gladiator and uh, from his national winners. Mm -hmm. um, this combined and some pigeons from Leon Jacobs, so uh, old Professor Rosen uh, strain. Uh, these are my key lines. And the special pigeons, the basic breeders are Black Sugar. Uh, so he's the father from a semi-national winner, many federation winners. He's the grandfather of first national ace pigeon. Um, B Special, the mother of Special Black. Mm -hmm. uh, she was herself a first national section winner, but she gave many federation and top uh, 10 national uh, winners. And then, of course, uh, Special Black herself, uh, first national ace pigeon but also a super breeder. Every year she gives a federation winner, uh, even a national section winner, a, a national ace pigeon. A federation yeah. winner would be against how many pigeons? Uh, between 1,000 and 2,000 pigeons. Okay, a provincial winner? A provincial winner against 4,000 pigeons. And then a national winner? A national winner, yeah, between 10,000 and 25,000 pigeons. Folks, these are the pigeons that you're gonna look for. This is impact pigeons. Uh, we have a question, and I, I can't see the, the name. I think it's Gerard Sparks. I'm not sure. You, te you tell about OLRs in Portugal. What do you think about a two-day final in a race? This is not like a mor Is this not like a morning lottery? Now, you were, you were at Agave. Uh, oh, yeah. And from, 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 a, from a guy participating and being there, how was the day, the day from start to finish from when you woke up and went outside your, your place? Yeah, look, I went to the race already nine times, nine years in a row. Um, and yeah, they, sometimes they arrive just before dark. Uh, sometimes they arrive in the dark. Now this year, they, I think they had a little bit uh, bad luck that it was very hot and that there was a very strong headwind. And I think the headwind uh, killed the pigeons on the way back home and the high temperatures. It was more than 35 degrees. Uh, so I think they all went down to drink and start again later. So yeah, 500 kilometers is, was perhaps a little bit too much. I think if they cut that uh, closer, uh, then they, they should have got a few pigeons the, the same day. But it's, yeah, it's extreme weather. So the last weeks in Europe, so I think that's, yeah. A little bit tough, super uh, tough. <laughs> too tough. Too tough. Yeah. And of course, there are still young birds on a one loft raise. Eh? Okay, hey, you, you, you got it right from the man's mouth. He was there, he, he, he seen it all. Uh, next question, what is the best feeding system in the racing seeding season from Van Robys? Um, look, we have different feeding systems. Mm -hmm. We have for everybody, uh, every system, we have the right uh, feeding mixtures. Uh, so, yeah, it's, you're the manager. You need to take the decision which kind of system you use. You have the old-fashioned system where you need to uh, give more peanuts and sneaky mix and, and products. You have the premium power, what's very sophisticated, all included the super uh, power seats and, and everything what they need uh, for in the beginning of the week, for middle of the week, for end of the week. So the relax, the premium sport and the dynamic for uh, the last days. And of course, we have a scheme for every distance. Now, the scheme is only to give the advice, but it's the manager who need to decide which kind of of circumstances the race will be in the weekend and that's really important and then of course we have the last uh, generation of feet and that's the revolution what it includes a pallet and the pallet 
that's new in the pigeon sport. Uh, the pellets are uh, cold pressured and they contain all the vitamins and the prebiotic and the probiotic, what is necessary for the pigeons. Uh, L-carnitina, uh, meteoina, everything is inside. So um, you don't need to give more side products on the food or in the drinker, everything is included. So and it, it's very it, easy. It's a real revolutionary yeah. pellet. Yeah. So uh, why it's a revolution? Because it's all included. It's cold pressured, so it contains. It keeps containing all the products when you don't need to heat it to make the pellet. Uh, there is also uh, clay, a uh, natural clay inside. What what makes the pellet? In mm -hmm. the pigeons, they like it. It's very good for their immune system, for their digesting, and that's the secret behind uh, the the revolution mixtures. Uh, it's also very easy. It's for young birds. It's for old birds. Uh, it's for during the breeding, uh, during the racing, uh, and during the molting. But yeah, it's very simple, and it's very effective. Uh, a lot of national champions in Belgium, Holland, and Germany uh, had big success the last two seasons. Uh, some lost tested mm. two, three years, and this year we start to promote it start to sell it and immediately all the fanciers who had good pigeons, who had a good uh, health on their loft, uh, they had fantastic results with it. Uh, Geert Jan Kor says, a great guy with some quality pigeons. You don't have to say that. Uh, now, would you say in Belgium for, because you, your favorite is the national races. Um, look. Uh, my favorite is um, to compete from uh, 200 kilometers, some, so from the first race until the nice races from Bourges, Argenton, Châteauroux on national level. But it's not that I'm specialized in the national races. I try to, to have good results from yeah, the beginning of the season. So, and then the pigeons, they go up and I, yeah, I have my job. So. I, I'm limited in time, so I try to basket my whole team on, on one race. I don't split them up. It's yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's I I start 200 kilometers, 300, 400, 500 until 600 kilometers, and so the pigeons. That's uh, where they really excel. Yeah, yeah, they are selected on that 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 kind of races. And and in the in the country for those races. Uh, or especially when you get to the nationals, how are you? Are you sitting always in the best? Is this the best spot to sit? No. <laughs> <laughs> this hurts no, him. He's got a beautiful no, house in the wrong no, spot. <laughs> no, look, look. Uh, oh, if uh, yeah, I I like to live here. I lived here m all, my whole life. I have my garden. I have yeah my family here, and um, yeah, it's 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 not in the best position. I'm live in I live in the northwest of uh, Antwerp on one of the longest distance. So um, to have good results, I need to have yeah, south, uh, a little bit east, southeast wind, but that's perhaps once or twice a year. And then you need to have luck that it's just in a weekend when there is a national race. And yeah, but to but be honest, you've yeah. done very well. Yeah. When the winds stack against you, did you? Yeah. Want to go show some pigeons? Yes. They like to see pigeons. Let's get okay. going. Reminder, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. We are with Guy van den Aura of Belgium. We have two run auctions running right now at Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Please go check them out. Joost Goosen from the Netherlands and Patrick Boeks from Belgium. Remember, all bids are in Canadian dollars. That's right, all bids are in Canadian dollars. And all the pigeons that you see on our auction site, they're in North America. They've done the 90-day quarantine. And you know what? Buy them. They're ready to go to your loft and breed super quality for you. This is the loft, eh? Yeah. So a normal Belgian pigeon loft. Uh, the three avias are for the young bird teams, two rounds. And then the other side is for the old racing team, uh, males and uh, hens. What so very simple. Did you, you, did you want to show us some of your race birds that you, you kicked ass with this year? Oh, yeah. They're, I mean, I know like. they're molting. They are molting now. Um, otherwise, we take a look at the breeders or what? I, the, best, the best racers are already to the breeding loft. Oh, this year, he's so. already taking us upstairs. All right, yeah. guys. 
Watch your step, like... eh? Oh, yeah? Oh, oh. The picture of the main breeders, so oh, the original Josef Kovarts pigeons, Super 481, daughter Chateru, Kaus Burineke, and their best children who had a big impact in my success. And those were, uh, yeah, crossed with the best of Van Hove Uitroeven and uh, Gerings and uh, Leon Jacobs. He's a beauty, Braveheart. Yeah, Braveheart. Super also nice. His, kid, his children did very well. And uh, yeah. We, we got to get one out of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they are already in China. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. Or passed away. Yeah? The last children. Huh? Some Got of them. the trophies, eh? Yeah. Just first a few. national section, first national uh, Bourges. Yeah. Take a look, guys. First national uh, young birds two years ago. Hey, now we go look at some pigeons. Reminder guys, if you have questions, now's the time to put them in. We are with Guy for the next little bit. Don't be shy. Put them in. This is the, the little candy shop up here. All individual pens. Oh. So I start with uh, the basic mother, B Special. So also first national section winner. And the mother of Special Black. First national ace. She's 10 years old, but she's still looking like a young bird. Beautiful. In the hand. She's a beautiful hand. I handled and her before, guys. This is a 10 out of 10. You would not know she's old. She feels like a yearling. Yeah. She's great muscles put together right, and the feather quality is absolutely perfect. And all your key breeders, you have an in individual pens, eh? Yes. Tony Hughes says hello from the UK. Hello, Tony. So this is Black Sugar. How'd you come up with the name like Black Sugar? Yeah, he's so sweet like sugar. <laughs> huh? If you feel him in the hand, he's still soft. He's from 2011. And uh, so uh, 12 years old. Huh? Just hold him there. Take a look. And he's black. Yeah. And he's produced how many good ones for you? Oh, uh, lots. Lots? Every year I had a good, a good pigeon from him. Yeah. Every year. So, uh, of course, the most important uh, ones were uh, Black Hawk. Black Hawk won first semi national Virzon, 500 kilometers. And he's the father from Special Black. So, Special Black, first national ace, long middle distance. But also father from, I think his best son now on the left, Sugar King, Federation winner, a fantastic pigeon, I will show him. Uh, obsession, two times fastest pigeon of the release and uh, six times Federation winner. And here you're seeing all of Guy's superstars. This pigeon, when he handed it to me before the show, I almost fell off, fell over. It was so, so he's so nice. Yeah. Strong back, great vent, muscular, and the feather though. Yeah. And he gave already on his first year on uh, on the breeding loft. He gave already a, a very promising young bird. Just, so, just nothing yeah. but quality. And this is so. This is Black Sugar's son. Yes. Sugar King. I put him right away. He was a yearling. Uh, the week before, his sister won the race. Then he won the race. So I put him uh, right to the breeding loft. You have Mr. Chateau, also uh, national section winner and a super breeder. Uh, we've been on for about 26 minutes, one loft race. So say hello to Guy van den Aure of Belgium. We're looking at some of the breeders, just having some fun with some super quality pigeons. How good of a breeder is Mr. Chateau? Mr. Chateau gave, um, oh, he gave Federation first 
ace pigeon. Uh, he gave uh, to other people very important breeders like uh, to GPS team, uh, one of the best uh, young birds in Holland. Uh, he gave me yeah, federation winners. Um, yeah, he's really a lovely pigeon. Yeah, and important, he won himself also uh, first national section, first provincial, and seventh fastest pigeon overall. Seven. Chateau. Uh, one Loft Racing, he's a gentleman from the UK. He says Van Robuys Super Grit and Minerals is the best on the market. If anyone has not tried it, they should try it. What do you think about it? <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's a complete mixture with uh, grit, minerals, uh, sneaky mix, and some extra. And it's yeah, daily use is recommended. Then you, they get everything. You use it? I give it every day. I give it every day. It's in the feed now, and uh, yeah, it's it's like the dessert that I give. Now these cocks that are up here, do they stay up here all year? Yeah. This one they stay, but now when it's molting, I open the doors, they get a bot. Uh, they come out into yeah. the hallway yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You let them be pigeons yeah. a little bit? Otherwise, otherwise, um, yeah, in the season when they are breeding, I let them out one by one during the day. So one day a week, one pair is outside, they can have a bath, they can relax and uh, lay in the sunshine. And, so you don't yeah. just leave them in the pen? No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> yeah. So the white freedom. For those of you who like grizzles. Oh, yeah, he's very brutal. special pigeon. Federation winner against 4,000 pigeons. And he gave me one of my best young birds this year. So, uh, again, a Federation winner. And also top 20 national from Bourges. It was for me a very difficult race because the wind was blowing to the other side and uh, his youngster uh, was the fastest pigeon here on this side of the country. It was 20th national. 20 national. And how far were you behind the winner? Uh, not so far, but uh, on that side, so uh, in Limburg, in Vellum, uh, many pigeons arrived because the wind was totally west. So uh, yeah, the pigeons, they need to break from the the big group to get here, but they did it. And you talk about your pigeons having that special ability. Yeah. yeah. You've so had some uh, some pretty crazy wins, big, yeah. like where they, the pigeons have just mind boggled you. Yeah, but it's when they are in a good condition and when they are motivated, uh, they can break away when they have enough experience on national level. And uh, yeah, certainly the line of the Super 481, who is his grandfather, uh, they can, yeah, they can do the job. Look at the super blue grizzle cock, unbelievable! Yeah. And how did you come up with the name White Freedom? Yeah, he won the race uh, the first weekend that it that Corona measures were going to an end, so uh, that we yeah could race on a normal level of you uh, the the Corona years. Yes. Uh, before it was always shit and. Uh, Quarantine and yeah, 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 yeah. locked so, up. Yeah, so that's uh, and white, of course. Uh, he's getting every year a little bit darker after the molt. Yeah, yeah, always after the molt. Yeah, just some fantastic um, pigeons. You should show the guy at the end, he's beautiful. Oh, yeah, so uh, special impact. You guys want to handle a pigeon. This pigeon is built the way God intended pigeons to be built. <laughs> He's super nice. This is a pure Josef Govart's pigeon. So his father is direct son from Super 481. Paired up with his mother, daughter Chateau, so inbred. And uh, so he's inbred himself. He's inbred himself. And yeah, a full brother from him is a super breeder at Peter van der Merwe in Holland. Mm -hmm. uh, he gave their yeah, federation winners and the best young bird in Holland. And many people had success with him. And also another uh, fancier had a super breeder, a, bro a full brother from him. And this one 
he gave me a Super Impact 101. She was uh, first national section winner and the second fastest pigeon overall from uh, Chateau. Now, now the bird that Peter has is it the same way bred? Yes, it's him. It's the same. So bread. it's a full brother. Full brother. Yep. Full brother. Yeah. Two super results again. Results, results, results. A lot of people do quite well with your pigeons. Why do you think it is? Oh, yeah. I was lucky to find them. Uh, and yeah, some people, some friends, they they saw the results, and of course, I gave them also the opportunity to have them. I always tried to have the best out of the best breeders. I think I didn't sold so many uh, in the past, but uh, I try always to give the best quality that they have big chance to have results, to have breeding results. Th this pigeon for an inbred, you would never feel it. it no. It, 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 it is, I mean, it's, Maybe the, one of the nicest handling pigeons I've handled in a long yeah. time. And it's inbred. It's a super pigeon. Now, when I go to Peter's, I'm going to handle the brother because I, I'm dying to handle it. Yeah. To see I don't, just... I don't know if he's still alive. If he, well, but, if, yeah. or if he has it. But yeah. if he does, I, I'm going to try. Yeah. But I think the best young bird from Holland is still on, uh, on his loft. Yeah. And that's even more inbred. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it was... Yeah, you know how it goes. You, you buy two pigeons, uh, they sit in the loft, they come together and you keep it because you, you're focused on other breeders and then you discover the super breeding pair. And that was how the case. As well as the mother and as the, the father, uh, they were very yeah, close and from the same lines. The fathers were brothers. Mm -hmm. And on one part, okay, there is uh, another line in it, but for 75% it's from the same pigeons, from the same basic pigeons. So the famous p pigeon, Jill. Yes. But she gave also very good youngsters herself. So the, the best young bird from, from Holland. So, yeah, it's, it was luck that he yeah, put together the two pigeons. So, you okay. can ask him. But hey, we always need a bit of luck, don't we? Yeah, but if you have uh, good genes uh, in your pigeons, brother, special black, proven breeder, black prince, first national ace, golden ah. prince against special black. Let's see him. Yeah, might as well show him. Yeah, stand, stand. It's okay if he's molten. What preparations of food do you give? per bird, grams per bird, what percent carbs, what percent are proteins? Is that a tricky question for you? Do you want me to ask it again? <laughs> oh, but look, if you take the time and you go and see our website from the revolution, everything is explained. The scheme, the mixtures, the content, everything is nice explained. You can see the schemes for every distance. So take your time. Go to the Van Robuys main website, click on the revolution, and you'll get all the information and all the well, what's inside the seeds and, it's and the percentage. Fully, yeah. fully English. Yes, fully English. Uh, probably multiple languages. Yes. I would bet. Yes. yes. Uh, and and Guy works with Van, uh, for Van Robuys. That's your job. Yeah. You you what's your I'm job the, there? I'm uh, the sales mm -hmm. for um, Holland. Uh, and I'm and a part of the other other countries in the world. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I test all the mixtures myself on my own pigeons. So before that we launch a new uh, mixture, I will test it on my own pigeons. And when you're testing it, what are you testing it for? Look, um, especially we develop it like a nutrition value. But then you need to see if the pigeons, they like the food because that's the most important. In theory, we can put on the best mixture, but if the pigeons don't like the seeds we are inside, we need to find other seeds. And that's also, yeah, what, uh, what we do. 
Right. And and test them on on, uh, on the distance that we manufacture the, the scheme for. Uh, Stan says, when will your product be available in Canada? I would love to bring the product in, guys. I am fully for it. It's it's a it's an investment, and you got to bring the, the, the you got to invest in the container to do it. And a container we know is fairly expensive. Do I think this is the best feed on the planet? One hundred percent. This the, the it's all right there. Uh, and I've been I've seen the other feeds are nice. But there is something about this feed. It just goes to another level. And I think that the thing I like is the number one thing is you have a man like this. He's actually testing the feed out. And yeah. you have actual people racing with your feed. And, and how many big... Well, I seen at the booth at Houghton. Who did you have there at Houghton at your booth that runs your feed? Yeah, I think a lot of uh, national champions in Belgium and in Holland... Uh, let us say we have in every category we have a specialist like Stefan Lambrecht for the young birds. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Gino Klicker and Kurt Platel for long distance races. Uh, yeah, we have uh, Louis Stabel and son, uh, all round racers in Holland. Uh, yeah, we have racers who are yeah, racing like a hobby and have the top results like Alfred van Zuren and his uh, father. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I can, it, it, I can it, say... There's too one, many. It, there are too many at the, at the moment, uh, if you see. I, but let us say, most important names perhaps at the moment, um, last season, uh, Chris de Becker, first national champion. Um, he gave the new revolution mixtures and he's telling you to everybody who wants to know how we like it, and uh, yeah, what, what what a difference it gave in its results to right. become a national champion and to become every week a top ten uh, result uh, on, on on long distance. Um, then of course, small fanciers like the young guy who won first national Burgess. He also explained. I follow us on on Facebook. There are nice food movies how they race with the revolution uh, mixtures. And uh, we will, yeah, we will make more. Now, now when these guys that use your mix, yeah. like you say, do they use just your feed? Yeah. Just your products, yes. that's what they're using. Yeah. And they're getting fantastic results. Mm -hmm. For the people watching in North America, uh, the revolution mix, how much is it a bag here in Belgium? Uh, between 23 and 25 euro. So guys, that's, a, kilo. that's around 40 to 50 Canadian dollars in that price range. Yeah. 